Hello everyone. Thank you for joining in today. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. My name is Nikita Tibriwal and I'm a lead data scientist at Salesforce. The second part of the webinar now that is data storytelling. But why do we even need data storytelling? We have learned in the previous section how we can create the right visual based on fact and figures. Can't they act as convincing arguments when you put forward your idea when uh, when you share your insights with the data consumers? They could. However, studies have shown that when you share a story, people are often more likely to be persuaded. And when you combine data and story together, audiences are moved both intellectually as well as uh, emotionally. So when telling your story, you take the user on a journey, moving him from one perspective to another. In this way, stories can act as a powerful tool to bring in confidence in you and your vision. In fact, there's another research that says that stories are remembered 22 times more than facts alone. Well, I can totally believe that one. Let's see some of the examples from a day-to-day -day life. Uh, if you're a music fan or a fitness freak like me, you will definitely identify these dashboards. Yes, these data-driven stories are a part of our everyday life now. Brands like Spotify and Strava are leveraging these data and story together to move the audiences intellectually as well as emotionally. These simple and fun visualizations are helping them develop customer loyalties. Uh, they, can, they emphasize how much we love their product and services without even throwing any kind of statistics or, num uh, or just numbers at us. These are engaging. They are even personalized. They are even personalized and uh, we are definitely compelled to take an action. We've, uh, we, we are mostly inspired to share them on social media because they are very, very personal to us. And brands get free marketing. Thus, they're leveraging the benefits of data and story. What is data storytelling? Data storytelling is a methodology for communicating information tailored to a specific audience with a compelling narrative. The key outcome here is higher user adoption of the business analytics and the information management systems. Data stories is nothing but a combination of data, visual and narrative. Why is data storytelling important? For that, we need to understand how these three components fit together and what is the impact that they create when they're brought together. When the narrative is coupled with data, it helps explain to your audience what's happening and why a particular insight is important. When visuals are applied on data, they enlighten the audience to insight that they wouldn't have seen without charts or graphs. And finally, when the visuals are applied on the narrative, they can engage or even uh, entertain the audiences. When you combine all these three things together, the right visuals with the right narrative and the right data, you have your data story, which can influence and drive a change, which is the goal of the entire process. Now, how can one become an effective data st uh, storyteller? Let's let's deep dive into it. Number one, uh, will, uh, you'll need to wear the hat of a domain researcher or an expert. It is utmost important to understand the domain, the key performance indicators of the business. What is the business uh, problem and what is the implication of solving it? Once you understand the problem, or once you understand the business problem, then you can translate it better into a data problem. You also want to be an analyst. We all are one. As a data analyst, a major share of the activities would go into collecting and uh, cleaning up the data so that we can place uh, so that uh, we can focus upon the right data and only the relevant information is used while analyzing as well as sharing it with the users one definitely needs to have statistical knowledge so that you can study the data and its relationship correctly and finally you need to wear the hat of a, a designer or think like one or collaborate with one uh, in order to assort the information in a visually appealing manner so that it is in a consumable format with the skills, let's see how we can go from this journey, or how we can go, or go on this journey from data to story. I'll share you a simple five-step process uh, that can help you transform your data into a story. First up, you need to understand the context. Answer the primary uh, questions, the fundamental questions like, 
who are you communicating to what do you want your audiences to do do you want to empower them do you want them to implement a change do you want to support their decision and how can data help make your point these questions will clearly establish the context and uh, lay the groundwork for the subsequent steps next is choosing the right display that is visualization of the data we have elaborated this very well in the previous section the third step would be identify and eliminate the clutter we need to remove any kind of chart junk anything that is ornamental and distracting uh, it could be uh, the 3d views the uh, grid lines uh, the various uh, decimals anything that is unnecessary and distracting remember less is more effective impactive and attractive the fourth step is to uh, focus bring the attention to what is important what needs to be brought to the attention of the user and the last step is to uh, build to tie up all this in the form of a story by adding uh, annotations uh, by adding um, much required titles and legends and uh, adding action inspiring recommendation which is the most important thing you need to clearly annotate it enough uh, to have uh, uh, so that the narrative is clear what are the actions that you want to recommend based on these facts that you're presenting before we see all this in action let's just uh, focus uh, on the context part and zoom in a little bit more the goal of data storytelling is to drive a change increase the insight to impact conversion ratio and for that insight uh, uh, for that the insights should be clear self explanatory and engaging it is easier to create engaging insights and data stories if you truly empathize with your user when you understand what questions they want to answer and what why they want to be answered broadly speaking whenever we are building any analytical application uh, there could be three different types of uh, user personas strategic users analytical users and operational users when you design the analytical app uh, that you want to be heavily adopted you need to keep the traits of these user personas in mind strategic users would include people like senior management decision makers the cxos these people want to make long term decisions about the business strategy um, so at the top level information about how the business is performing uh, what are the trends and the kpis uh, uh, can help them make uh, the, the decisions better and faster need to be presented when we talk about analytical users these are the folks from the mid management and the planning team they need rich data but interactive display as well because they tend to deep dive into the data themselves um, they may need a little training as well but they are often more than just consumers they want to do their own ad hoc analysis um, uh, while using yours as a base lastly we have the operational users they usually tend to use the data to enhance how they are working on a day to day basis they will need a little more detailed data uh, with operational metrics which are often updated on a uh, daily basis and even uh, real time data as an expert if you have an understanding of these users how they work and what are the questions that they are trying to answer then you are uniquely positioned to answer some of the even unasked questions that is why setting up the context and understanding the users empathizing with the different audiences is very important one last step before you deliver the story to the audience is testing the story well i am not talking about the data testing here that is preliminary that is fundamental and you should definitely be looking for the uh, data discrepancies and any kind of quality issues all the numbers should be correct but here we are talking about the quality of the data story so i'll recommend two tests here number 1 the truth test we don't want to present a story which will please the user it should be relevant but at the same time it should be true we can test it by asking questions like does the story tell the truth is it relevant to the audience is the data speaking for itself another test that i may suggest is the readability test can my audience understand the data story are there any elements that can get confusing is the story presented clearly or can there be ambiguities in, in deriving the conclusions 
and i'll recommend to do this test with someone who can closely represent your audience that will give you true feedback and scope to improve your story Thank <laughs> you.